you're a wise man, rarely put wrongs. So now I want to walk down memory lane, which helps me ease the pain. We didn't have a lot, but we always had enough. And he was always buying the stuff. Going to work every single day, made sure all bills are always paid. You were a strong black man, way before I heard of Louis Farrakhan. <laughs> so Louisville, Kentucky, you were born and raised, same city as Cassis Clay. I was amazed. Sent you to an all-black school, walked right past the white schools, they had segregated pools. But nothing could stop you. You had to get through. Made it to a university, graduated from UC Berkeley. From there, you started your career that you worked at for years. Coming to your office just to see the view? I want to be just like you. Walking around with a hand held high, all full of such awesome pride. Aren't you born, son? He said, yeah, I'm the one. You look just like him. I know. Just not as tall and thin. Such turbulent times as you investigated racial hate crimes, races not getting along, cross burdens on the lawn, swastikas in the synagogue. Those leaders had no respect for God. You helped negotiate a game choice between black and Latino youth. Told me about the struggle with civil rights, showed me black people have to fight. Told me good neighbors come in all colors and forget about our racial borders. Such change and strife you saw in your life, and I still remember the day they buried MOK in your tears. Your tears said all that was needed to say. JFK, RFK, Malcolm X. After them, no one else left. But remember that time about the bean pie, the one I wanted to buy, the man in the bow tie? You said no. I asked why. I was perplexed. You said, son, the nation killed Malcolm X. But it wasn't all bad. They were still good, like the greatest of Tiger Woods. We saw a story of a president when America elected Barack Obama president. Dad, it's sad you're no longer here, living up to you. My biggest fear. You were a man's man, showed me how to take a stand. Thank God you showed me how to be a father, because now I got a son and daughter. I was there until the end, because I know that's how it should have been. Your body was failing, but I wasn't failing. Yes, you had a weak hip and a weak heart and a bad head, but your character sets you apart. But about that healthy eating, Dad, I think you was really faking. Remember I caught you in the kitchen, still making bacon? <laughs> so we say goodbye to you at your hospital bed. All that had been said, had been said. And what a glorious, glorious life you led. Granddaughter cried, she was just so, so sad. But I'm just so grateful and so glad that you, that you were my dad. Mm. <laughs>